Report! Evac complete. All injured have been moved to the transports. Okay. Let's get out of here! Just remember to keep on guard until you're clear of the red zone. We're all done here. How about you? Finished. But Yuffie, I want you to check the Mako cannon. But we already... What? What the... Just as I thought. Hold on. Hold on. This is crazy. There's no way anybody could be up there. No! Yuffie, rendezvous with Cloud and the others. It looks like I still have some work to do. Hey, whoa! Vincent? Get out of there! I have a bad feeling about this! So... We meet again. Lucrezia. I'm the one who should apologize. Three weeks ago, our crew left for Midgar. However, the group's whereabouts still remain unknown. What really happened down there? Tonight, for the first time, we bring you the final transmission received before all contact was lost. For the past three years, this door has remained sealed. However, that seal's about to be broken. There are no records of this place located deep beneath the Shinra building, another of the company's secrets revealed recently. According to investigative reports, there is evidence that thousands of people were once transported here. If rumors of the Shinra company conducting human experiments are true, then this may be where those nefarious deeds were carried out. To bring you this exclusive footage, Channel 7 News has teamed up with volunteer organization... Oh, wait, I think I see something. Hey, here we go!
Vincent Valentine. We found you. Is this the one? Yes. The Proto-Materia. Tell us where it is. here Vincent Valentine are you all right mm -hmm. Reeve nice to see you again not a very interesting outfit though <laughs> it took me a while to decide which costume I'd put on for today but enough of the small talk who are those soldiers that just left I don't know the large one called himself Azul. Azul the Cerulean? Of the Sviet? Then that could only mean... Commissioner! We'll discuss this later. WRO troops have arrived and commenced rescue operations. We could use your help, Vincent. Reef. Hmm? I don't know what you're up to, but I want absolutely no part of it. But... you fought alongside us three years ago! We need your help once more! Reeve! Never was good at fighting. Luckily, I came out wearing Reeve. You're really not a bad bloke, are you, Vincent? Ah, you pretend not to care, but you always come through in the end. <laughs> All right. What do you want me to do? Let's run those lads out of town. I'll leave the method up to you. When you've tidied things up, meet me at the square in front of the East Church. Good work, Vincent. The enemy is retreating. It seems they have finally begun their withdrawal from Kong. Good. However, we still require your assistance. Reports our edge is under attack. Reeve. 
Deep ground soldiers. Deep ground? Yes. The shadow of the Shinra Company, constructed by the former president, and completely hidden from the rest of the world. Constructed? His goal was to create an army of superhuman warriors, not once letting morality interfere. The man you met earlier, Azul, is also a member of Deep Ground, but he belongs to an elite unit known as the Sviets. The whole organization was kept a secret. That's why there's so little information on them. However, it's nothing like I expected. Not even a person in your position was informed? No. Other than the President himself, the only people who knew of Deep Ground's existence were most likely Heidegger, Scarlet, and the head of biochemical research, Ojo. After the President's death, the transfer of power to his son was carried out so quickly I doubt Rufus was ever briefed on the project. As for me, I was told the information was on a need-to-know basis, and as an official in charge of urban development, I guess I wasn't on their list. All the intel we currently have on Deep Ground was only discovered recently when we came across some of Scarlet's old files. <sighs> Vincent, have you heard of the mass disappearance that occurred recently in Juno? Hmm. I remember the report saying that 20 or 30 people suddenly vanished. That's what the report would like you to believe. It was determined internally that if the truth was leaked, they wouldn't be able to contain the inevitable panic. The actual number of people that went missing that day was 1,200. Hmm? 1,200 people simply vanished without a single trace. The WRO conducted a private investigation, but we came up empty-handed. Except for the rumors. Since the Junon disappearances, people in Edge have been on edge. They say that night after night, you can hear screams coming from the direction of Midgar. Could it be the wind? Let me ask you, does the wind sound like a thousand wailing souls? Listen. Can you hear them? Transmission is being broadcast on all wavelengths. At last. The time has come to cleanse this world. The pure will be spared for the cause, while the tainted will be hunted down and exterminated. They shall be slashed, strangled, and slaughtered, beaten, stabbed, and crushed, garroted and impaled, shot and executed without mercy. <laughs> the time has come to cleanse this world. <laughs> Where could that signal have... <clears throat> what was that? Are you all right? I'll be fine, but that's more than I can say for the engine. Vincent, if possible, I want you to continue on to Edge. That transmission we just saw troubles me. Once I have repaired the Shadow Fox, I'll need to return to headquarters. A WRO squad has already been dispatched to Edge. Join them, and help liberate the city. I guess I have no choice. <laughs> Slashed, strangled and slaughtered. Beaten, stabbed and crushed. Garroted and impaled. Shot and executed without mercy. Nicely said, Vibes. <laughs>
I wonder if this will be a little more amusing than last time. Who's asking? Vincent Valentine. Reeves sent me. My apologies. Shalua Rui of the WRO. The Commissioner has told me much about you. What happened here? That's what I'd like to know. I'm here on other business, but something's not right. It's too quiet. I've seen no trace of Deep Ground, or the squads that were sent in to fight them. Also, where are the 500 people who are supposed to still be living here? Well, this is getting us nowhere. Like I said, I have business to attend to. I'll see you around. Business? The Commissioner keeps telling me I'm wasting my time. My time searching. Searching for what? For my reason to live. You know, this is the first time I've ever felt the rain on my skin. But then again, I hadn't even seen the sky until a few days ago. So you're Vincent Valentine, keeper of the Proto-Materia. Proto-Materia? Yes, the key to controlling Omega. We know you have it. Hand it over now, and I'll kill you quick. Not one to bargain, are we? Then I'll make sure you suffer. Time to die. Why did you let this happen? Silence! You... Silence! <laughs> Why? Hmm? Why can't these people just keep quiet? Yes... I can... 
next experiment. <laughs> A genius! What I am, yeah! Success here will justify previous failures. Well, look who's awake. Hold on, I'll release you. Where am I? Safe inside the WRO headquarters. I carried you back here from Edge, after you collapsed during your fight with Deep Ground. It seems like... The beast inside you went a little wild back there. This happen often? Went wild? Do you mean chaos? Chaos? Your body harbors the chaos gene? Oh, so that explains your relationship with Dr. Lucrezia Crescent. Were you the product of one of her experiments? Lucrezia's... experiments? I... apologize. That wasn't what I meant. Wait. Lucrezia... was researching... chaos? Don't tell me you didn't know. Crescent, Shinra Class A scientist specializing in biotechnology. In her research thesis, The Planet's Pulse, she refers to chaos as one of the sentient xenoforms residing among us. However, the theories that she presented in her work were so abstract and complex that no one should be seriously. I'm so sorry. Still, I've heard rumors that the Awaken. Later, she has been used to are you alright? Can I see that thesis? Unfortunately, no. On top of being obscure, it was never even submitted to the Shinra database. All I know is what I saw while going through the company's archives. Vincent! Have you recovered already? So... Rosso the Crimson told you that Proto-Materia is the key to controlling Omega. Yeah. Any ideas? Soul wrought of Terra Corrupt. Quelling impurity, purging the stream. To beckon forth an ultimate fate. Behold mighty chaos. Omega Squire to the lofty heavens. Where'd you...? A passage from Dr. Crescent's thesis. But... that's all I know. Unfortunately, I only saw a fragment of the document. However, Chaos, Omega, and...
all seem to be connected to Dr. Crescent in some way. There's no other explanation. I think we'll need to gather more data on her to get anywhere. What now? Damn. Fine here. But Vincent, the Sviets, Azul is still on the loose. of you. I knew it. Shelk. <sighs> I have no acquaintances in the WRO. We've... we both changed... so much. No. No. At all. <sighs> Not in ten years. <sighs> Shelk, it's me. Shalua. I've been. I've been searching for you for so long. Don't take another step. Shulk. It doesn't matter who I am or who you are. My current mission as a deep ground soldier is all that is relevant. No. It does matter. Even though ten years have passed, you're still Shulk. My only sister. Ten years. Has it been that long? The day they came to take me away, I was told I had potential. But those words were nothing but a precursor to a decade of suffering. They manipulated my mind, until I was a shadow of my original self. The pain, the fear. For ten years I lived in hell far deeper. ...than any you could imagine. But... look at me. I should be 19 this year. If I don't receive my daily dose of Mako, this body wouldn't last a day. However, I don't consider myself the least bit unfortunate. Except... that for so long I held on to a foolish thread of hope. That someday, someone would come to save me. I'm sorry, Shulk. I'm so sorry. It's time to put the past behind us. Stop this! Uh, Reeve to Esty. So, you are Shalua's younger sister. Excellent. Now I can terminate both of you at once. Look at her! That's the price Jalua has paid fighting Shinra for the past ten years. She has given more than her arm. 
more than her eye. She has put her life on the line, time and time again, all to find her lost sister. More than half her organs have been reconstructed. Not a day goes by when Shalua doesn't suffer the pain of a hundred souls. But still, she... Enough. I've... I've heard enough. Stop! Vincent. Use these. Shulk? Shulk! Don't worry. The bullets will only sedate her. Let Vincent handle this. Answer me this. Do you know why you even exist? Hmm. Just as I thought. Ignorant to your own destiny. Very well. I'll show you what you really are. You shouldn't leave those things lying around. Where are you? Nibelheim. Wait. Shinra Manor? But that is where... Understood. However, be on your guard. We have reports of deep ground units deployed in that area. If you wish to enter the manor in one piece, I suggest you use the sewer system extending from the old Mako reactor. Sewer. How appropriate is that? Now, as for me and my feline companion, it's time we found out what Deep Ground is truly up to. Me. 
What? What in the blazes is growing down there? Usher of souls. My brother. Omega. It's Nero the Sable! Oh dear! Lucrezia. Vincent. Right? <sighs> Have you come to check up on me? Corrupt. Quelling impurity, purging the stream. To beckon forth an ultimate fate. Behold mighty chaos. Omega's fire to the lofty heavens. I came across this passage while studying the scriptures of the ancients. The chronicles of yore. Omega. The end. Just as all other sentient beings. He too was born of the life stream. However, his only purpose is to cleanse the planet of all things living and lead their immortal souls through the abyss of ether, to a new beginning, far, far beyond the never-ending sea of stars. Just as life circulates through our planet, so too does our planet, through the universe, or at least in theory. However, what I can be certain of is, if Omega awakens, then all life as we know will end. And when Omega has embarked on his journey to the cosmos, our planet will wither.
Well, well, we meet again. <laughs> this is perfect. I so wanted to see you, my love. Deep ground. What are they attempting to do with Omega? I don't know. And to be honest, I don't care. What? But this is what Vice desires. Hail Vice. And what Vice orders, we do. It is very simple. If he desires the awakening of Omega, then that is what all of Dikran desires. We could care less what happens to the planet. <laughs> but all this matters little to me. It is not every day you are granted a chance to cleanse the world of all life. Just the thought sends a chill of excitement through my body. The deep ground soldiers were born and bred to kill. We were chained to a destiny of servitude. But then, three years ago, we were freed from our chains, though waiting for us was darkness lit only by the faint glow of Mako. And what do you think we did when we gained our freedom, hmm? <laughs> We killed. That is how we were raised. That is all we knew. And so I bathed in the blood of a thousand soldiers. And I enjoyed it. I reveled in it. And when I finally stepped out of the abyss, I craved for more. You understand, right? I don't think so. You say that, darling. We're one of the same. cannot control the beast without this. <laughs> well, there will be no need for it when I'm done with you. Is it true? Is what true? That Lucrezia... That Dr. Crescent is to take part in this project? It's true. Why are you so surprised? But using your own child... for an experiment? Ha! I don't know what you're implying, but both of us are scientists. We know what we are doing. You are the last person to have any word in this. Now, leave us at once, boy. 
But... But what? <sighs> if you have something to say, say it. Are you... Are you sure this is what you really want? Am I sure? Am I sure? If this only concerns me, then yes, I am sure. Oh... I... I just... All I did was watch. I didn't even try to stop her. And then... my sin. And this, this is my punishment. Uh, 
Anyway, Reeve wanted us to contact him as soon as you woke up. Vincent has come too? Excellent. I have some good news. Using you know who. I was able to infiltrate Midgar. However, what I saw wasn't the prettiest of pictures. Omega. I should have known. We cannot let them sacrifice the lives of any more people. Once we've gathered our forces, we'll launch a full offensive. Of course, we'll require the help of you two as well. Please hurry back to headquarters. Oh, I'm analyzing the data files you sent earlier. I should have results soon. Rusty out. There you have it. I don't know what's going down, but it sounds big. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on those deep ground punks. They've had their way long enough. Now it's time to give them a taste of pain a la Yuki. Just give me three minutes with those guys. No, make it two. Well, maybe three. Or four. Well, it really depends on how many there are, but I think if there was five, I could probably take them in two, or two in five, or... Where am I? Joke. How are you feeling? <sighs> you were a fool to let your enemy live. Now I'm going to kill you and return to deep ground. I don't think so. I have to admit, I wasn't myself back there. Seeing you for the first time in ten years left me in a spin. But I've had time to recover. And I'm not letting you get away. Not this time. There's no way I'm going to let you kill me. And there's no way I'm going to let you go back to deep ground. I don't recall needing your permission to do anything. I don't remember you ever being able to win any of our fights. Do you? How about it? You want to try your luck? Understood. You may begin mobilization. Commissioner! Officer! Security unit beta! Two soldiers are winning! Deep ground? You're back? All battle Why? report to stations. All others they were waiting the underground barracks. for Azul. Emergency. Azul? Emergency. All His battle death squads report was to merely stations. a prologue to the All true others. terror. We'll be arriving shortly. What the hell? <laughs> Azul. Joke. 
Why do you stand in my way? I had to protect myself. You were trying to kill me. Hmm. But now is the time. <gasps> You're no longer required. No longer. You're no different from the others. Your weak body is nothing without Mako. Your only skill is collecting data from inside a virtual reality. It makes me sick to even think of you as a member of the Svets. <laughs> Vice has ordered your termination. Your mission was to identify and locate the Keeper of the Protomateria. That is why we uploaded the Doctor's data into your neural network. But now, we no longer need it. And we cannot let it fall into the hands of the WRO. Hm. Your fate has been decided, Shell. It is time for you to return to the planet. catch up on. I'm not going to let this end here. <gasps> Shalua! Ugh. Why are you doing this? You can still get through. Huh? Go on! <sighs> Shulk! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't a better sister. I'm sorry I let you suffer. So long. Vincent. Take care of it, will you? Wait. Shelk. I'm glad I was able to find you. And remember, I'll always love you. I'm so ashamed. I am supposed to be a hero of the Genova War. But look at me. Don't take all the blame. Reeve. Huh? You're not thinking of giving up, are you? I used to be nothing but a stone in the river of time. But three years ago, it was you and the others who taught me I had to move ahead. Vincent. She won't wake up. She suffered too much trauma to her head. Unless there's some kind of a miracle, she's... She's not... Ah, Vincent! 
You were there! Why couldn't you save her? I'm sorry. No. I, I didn't mean to... She was a fool. You have no right to call her that! You don't know! You don't know what... Why? Why would she do something so... Before, when I asked Shalua what she was searching for, she answered her reason to live. It was you, Shulk. You were her reason to live. So? I don't understand. How someone could give her own life for that of another. Do you understand, Vincent Valentine? Mm. I can't answer for your sister. But... But? When a person has someone they care about that much, giving their life is sometimes the least they can do. And maybe that's what makes us human. Someone they care about. Although, it seems like there are a lot of people around me who don't need a reason to risk their lives for that of another. And are you... <sighs> Vincent? 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 Fall asleep here. And you might catch a cold. Uh, uh, why are you so surprised? Is my face that hideous? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. And how are you supposed to be my bodyguard if you're up here sleeping? Uh, the warm breeze. I was only going to rest my eyes for a minute. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, the breeze is quite comfortable. However, I think you're in my seat. Huh? <laughs> Care to join me? I'm sorry. Why are her data fragments... responding? Vincent. I agree with you. This is not the time for us to give up. But I need to know something. Those data files you recovered from Shinra Manor... Are you sure there were not any more? I'm sure. I see. What's wrong? Well... The Omega Report. The file was incomplete. To make any sense out of it, we are going to require the other half. If possible, I wanted to know more about our foe before we launched the attack on Midgar. 
Are you speaking of Dr. Lucrezia Crescent's findings? Yes, but how did you... A large quantity of her mnemonic data fragments has been uploaded into my neural network. It was my prime directive to use this data to locate and retrieve the proto-materia. However, not only was the data incomplete, but part of her consciousness began interfering with my own thought processes. It was believed that the missing fragments may have been the reason for this. I can attempt to upload the WRO's files on the Omega report. By combining it with the data I possess, you may obtain a clearer picture of what you will be up against. And perhaps, I can regain control of my mind. Vincent, breathe! You better get out here! Sid! Hey! Over here! Channels radar field. functioning normal. Network terminals online. Wide area scan shows no gamma link operational. Radius. Adjusting settings 6281. Begin line test in sectors 2 through 6. 128%. Hey, Vincent! Long time! C Captain! Oh, sorry about that. As much as I'd like to sit down and reminisce about old times, you'll have to take a rain check. Why don't you have a look around my bird until the meeting? Man, I hate airships. I knew I shouldn't have had eggs for breakfast. Sorry, Vince. I don't feel like talking much. Thanks to Shulk's half of the data, I've been able to make more sense of the report. But I still require more time to piece together the fragments. I will give you all a detailed briefing at the meeting. After the assault begins, the headquarters facilities will no longer be available. And to think, just a few days ago, I was the one who was in there. No, forget I said anything. What are you working on? I'm in the process of modifying this equipment so I can perform an SND, a synaptic net dive. Synaptic net dive? My specialty within the Sviets. While retaining consciousness, I project an image of myself into a virtual reality called a network. I can also use this ability to negotiate with data on the subconscious planes of sentient life forms. However, this often involves a great risk to my own sanity. For Shinra, the success of the SND project was crucial for their next step in... I'm sorry, I seem to have gotten off track. Simply put, I'm creating a personal network terminal within the airship's main control console. <laughs> what? Nothing. You just remind me of your sister.
All right. Our old buddies and the remaining WRO squads will leave the ground assault. Fragment link. Successful. Commencing synaptic net dive in three, two, one. Just as we return to the planet when our life light is faded. The planet returns to the cosmos when her time has come. Anything that has definite shape will one day cease to exist. The same is true for this world. Before she takes her final breath, the pure life streams that flow freely beneath her crust will be brought together into one. By Omega, the ultimate life form. His purpose? To gather all life, sentient and non, and lead it into the sea of stars, where it will embark on a fabulous journey along a road untraveled. However, when Omega has lifted the life from this planet, all that will remain what? will be an empty shell destined to die silently in the limitless void of space. Omega is the same type of life form as the weapons we encountered three years ago. The planet gave birth to these creatures to protect itself, just as the planet will ultimately give birth to the final weapon, Omega, when the end of the world is imminent. In essence, Omega is an elaborate safety mechanism designed solely to maintain and protect the flow of life. Normally, Omega poses no threat to us. It only manifests when the planet has detected something that may cause her danger. However, Deep Ground is attempting to awaken the beast early. Thus, the kidnapping.
By slaughtering thousands of innocent souls, they are creating a pure life stream in order to trick the planet into thinking the end is near. Yeah! Why, those conniving? I don't know what this Vice character is trying, but he's crazy if he thinks we're gonna let him get away with it! Right. Omega is being revived deep beneath Midgar in Mako Reactor Zero. To increase the output of Reactor Zero, all the other reactors have been tied into its mainframe. Our objective is to destroy 1 through 8 and slow the reanimation process. Mission details for each squad will be relayed separately. Alright, we've still got some time before the big show. You got anything needs tending to do it? Vince, don't worry about the reactors. We'll take care of those. You work on those four wackos. I don't like letting you have all the fun, but... You know, I can't leave my baby here alone. Cloud and the others will be shutting down the power. And there's no way we're letting Yuffie go down there by herself. Sorry, buddy. Looks like from here on out, it's Vince versus the Sviets. We're counting on you, old pal. Simultaneous attack from land and air. Hmm. I think they may be serious this time. They had better be. I've been so bored lately. His awakening is near. Let tonight be the final chapter. Retrieved it in calm. I've modified it slightly. Just dial pound V I N to contact my personal terminal directly. From this workstation, I can perform a synaptic net dive into almost any network system in Midgar. I may also be able to help guide you into deep ground. It's not what you think. By monitoring your movement, Dr. Crescent's data fragments are restored within me. I'm simply providing this service for my own benefit. I didn't say anything. I, uh, anyway... My resources here are limited. Do not expect too much. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Shulk. Uh, uh... I... It's just... I've never actually been... counted on by anyone before. Uh, uh, never mind. Well then, can I count on you to keep an eye on the airship while we're away as well? Huh? I have already witnessed your strength and skill once. 
This is war, and we have to be ready for anything. Your assistance would be of great help. My assistance? Exactly. Commissioner! Ah, excuse me. Vincent, I will see you again before deployment. And Shum, remember, I'm counting on you. Oh. Fighting for. Away. Secondary squad, prepare for drop. Damage to the share on minimal. Damn! They're gonna pay for that! What do you think you're doing? 
You have landed several clicks off your target destination. However, considering the location of the enemy, this could work to your advantage. Head for the central complex and locate a means of reaching the top level. You will only be able to enter deep ground from the upper platform. I'll contact you again. Shelk out. Ah, still alive, I see. And you call yourself human? More human than you. Huh? More human than I? <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know, darling. I'm a Tzviet. I traded away my human weaknesses for power long ago. Tis the path I've chosen, and the path I'll tread, till I've sucked all life from this pitiful world. And I'm not going to let you get in the way. You've lived long enough, Vincent Valentine. And I'll make sure you don't come back this time. By slicing you into pieces! Someone... stronger... Then... Then... Absurd! Absurd! Our time here together is done. But the mighty Azul awaits. I shall not grant you the pleasure of killing Rosso the Crimson. No one will ever stand above me! sudden, engine levels began dropping like crazy. We haven't taken any direct hits, so everything should be running like clockwork. I will go have a look. Thanks. Counting on you. Since time. 
coming here, I've realized one thing. I don't want to let down anyone who's counting on me. Vincent. Here's Cloud. Vincent? Cloud. It's been a while. Sid's airship. We lost contact about 15 minutes ago. I don't think we have to worry, though. <clears throat> Those two should be fine. Yeah. And what about you? What do you think? You can count on us. When I'm through, there won't be a single sucker standing. <laughs> right. And as for you... Don't worry. Leave deep ground to me. <laughs> can you hold on a second? Tifa. Got it! Vincent, I'm sending you a map of the Shinra building. Deep ground is below the complex. Take an elevator as far down as you can. Good luck! Give him hell, Vincent! Barrett, I thought I told you Don't to... Don't go getting yourself killed now. So, Rosso didn't survive. Oh. Something inside you wants out. Its stench is so very familiar. <laughs> Come, Vincent. Show me your rage. Now... Let the killing begin! Intriguing. 
his destiny of destruction. Vincent, just a little longer, then I can let you out. been working too hard. Ah! Yeah, I thought I heard a rat down here. And just what do you think you're doing with my failed experiment? Get out of my lab! Silence! I'm the one giving orders here! Ah, <laughs> Omega and Chaos. <laughs> I see another experiment. <laughs> You're using this fine specimen to finish your thesis, aren't you, Doctor? No, you're wrong. Am I? Once a scientist, always a scientist, I must say. How happy this fellow must be, helping his beloved, even after he's begun rotting away. Don't you think you are taking things a little too quickly? And why not? All those people at Shinra who laughed at my thesis. I have to prove them wrong. Rushing into matters will get you nowhere, Doctor. to finally meet you, Vincent. Nero. At first, I thought you nothing more than a nuisance. However, it seems I can no longer let you run about unchained. I must protect my beloved brother. Your brother? Dear Vice, powerful Vice, the only person who ever loved me, and the only person I will ever love. However... Ah, but that... 
that is all forgotten. In a matter of moments, everything will change. What did you do with Shulk? Shulk? Ah, yes. What did I do with her? I do recall running into the lass when I journeyed to the airship. A feisty one she is. The girl is inside me, lost like a little puppy. Azul and Rosa never stood a chance against the mighty Valentine. But enough. I have other matters to attend to. Control over you, would it? So I must try a different dance. How about you? Even in a world where fear and despair reign over the heavens, you must never forget where there is shadow, there is always light. That's right! Bask in my rays, evildoers! Feel the radiance of Wu-Tai Super Ninja, Yuffie Kizaragi, and back and ready for action! My brother calls. Dreaming. Hey! Over here, guys! Will you be all right? Going, find Nero and Vice and smack him into next Tuesday. And while you're cleaning house, I sneak into the reactor and shut her down. Haha, <laughs> sounds like a plan. So, see you around, Vince. Vincent Valentine. Lucrezia? Hello? 
Anybody here? Tell me you worked with my father. Stop it! Just stop it! Lucrezia. and chosen me. Yes. Doctor. However, if she is happy, then I don't mind. Sure, that's the reason. Not sure. Neither am I. But Vincent, I don't want to see the world end. I just, I just don't want there to be any more pain. roughed up. Neither do you. In there, huh? Yeah. Come on.
right. as well as extract almost anything. However, some things remain. Things as black as the heart of a daemon. Ah, the essence of death. Its ovulations are like a lullaby. Three years? 
You know, when I first read it, I thought that woman's thesis was utter nonsense. I couldn't believe some fabled beast from legend past had anything to do with your survival. <laughs> However, three years ago, when you transformed into chaos right before my eyes, I must say I was shocked. Who would have thought her theory was actually valid? And so I began thinking, if chaos exists, then so too must Omega. And if you could become one, then maybe I could become the other, to traverse the cosmos in a blaze of glory. It was the chance of a lifetime. <laughs> but there was a problem. Only a strong shell could hold back Omega's might. And it could not be just anyone. You see, Borg, the reason you were able to play such a perfect host for chaos was because my experiments had endowed you with a nearly indestructible body. Thanks to me, you are standing here today. <laughs> Now, where was I? Ah, yes. I attempted to perfect my body for Omega by injecting myself with Genova cells. However, that didn't go as I had planned. I failed to consider the fact that the cells might try to take over my mind and eat away at my soul. And so, as a safety measure, I came up with a brilliant plan to transmit my neurodata across the worldwide network. However, after completing this, I realized I still required a durable body. And that's when I remembered Deep Brown, home to the most powerful beings on this planet. I even found a willing assistant in the lad Nero here to help carry out my so-called rebirth. Though never did he expect I would take control of his beloved brother's mind. <laughs> and thus, with a new body, I began my final experiment. If the chaos within you was born of a tainted life stream, then the almighty Omega would be born of a pure one. So I had my minions gather up the uncontaminated to create a stream of refined muscle, thus awakening Omega inside me. Genius, I tell you. <laughs> Pure genius! Pure genius! Only a scientist of my caliber is worthy to become one with Omega and leave this planet for the stars! Hojo. I've heard it enough. to 
wasn't much of a test. <clears throat> hmm. Chaos. You already tried that, Vincent. <laughs>
Or so it would seem. Hmm. However... In theory, the souls that exist inside Omega should act as a type of virtual network. It wouldn't be impossible, but maybe I could... <sighs> Vincent, be grateful that I not only uploaded Lucrezia's thoughts, but her wishes and dreams as well. Uplink successful. Now commencing. SND. Stop! 
cafeteria. I found it. Lucrezia Crescent. So I am to collect the data files. The fragments she left within the network? Correct. Then you are to use that data to find the proto-materia. That is where he requires your assistance. He? <sighs> that information is unnecessary. Connect with her, Vincent. Connect. With her heart. Hello, Vincent. Huh. Something's wrong. It is merely a reflection, created with my remaining data. <laughs> the real me crumbled away long ago. Vincent, do you remember our place? Under that tree? The warm breeze on our skin. I know that it no longer exists. Things fade with time, as do many things in this world. But there are some things that we cannot let disappear. Hmm?
but this isn't how it was supposed to be. I've I've made too many mistakes. And I've hurt you so, so much. Why did I do what I did? I'm so sorry. But I'm so happy. You survived. Lucrezia! You're late. Sorry about that. <laughs> Not that I mind, though. She... she was always like that. <laughs> Only believing what she wanted to. So, Vincent... Why don't you try telling her that yourself? Maybe I will. But before that... I have a story to end. Sorry about the wait. Everything's clear over here. They're all yours now, Vincent! All on the day's work. Fire. Just in time. <sighs> when did I start caring so much about what happened? Yeah! Yeah! The rest is up to you.
Omega's ascending. But that would mean... been almost a week since that day. The life stream has returned to the planet and has begun to flow normally once again. And I have started to fill the 10-year hole in my life, or at least started to try. I've learned so much in the past weeks. Now that I realize I'm not alone, I think I may be a little stronger than I was before. Have you heard from Cloud? Mm -hmm. He hasn't found anything. Oh. Ain't gonna make this easy for us, is he? Vincent, do you remember the last words we exchanged? Do you remember our promise? Your promise to Lucrezia. Go. Tell her how you feel. Tell her what is truly in your heart. I know that you probably will never see this. But I have to try. I have to believe. I've learned I must never give up hope. Never. Lucrezia, everything's all right now. Omega and Chaos have returned to the planet. Thank you. It was you. You were the reason I survived. Everyone's waiting, Vincent Valentine. I don't know why they made me come up here and get you. <laughs> Not that I mind, though.
It is not yet time for slumber. We still have much work to do. My brother.